Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nay and Else channel. I am Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a gorgeous teary eye design that's perfect for one of those mix and match manicure. Let's get cracking. Right, so to start off the design, I'm going to go in with a gorgeous color that's called Tutti Frutti, which is quite a kind of orangey, peachy, pinky yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's got a peachy undertone, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. So I'm going to, quite corally actually, <laughs> when you open it. So I'm going to apply um, two layers of that all over the nail as my base for this design. Right, so I'm gonna start painting the eye, which is super trendy at the moment, to be honest. I've seen so many people do it, so I thought, why not attempt doing it <laughs> on this channel? So I'm going in with Sirius Black, which I've uh, put on my palette, and I'm just gonna start by mapping out a curved line on the top here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of paint a curved line that will form the top of the eye just like so I might flick it slightly at the end but you want that line to be quite thick anyway so don't stress if it looks uneven to start with you can go in and fix it Right, so I'm going to start by doing another tiny line just on top and that would be like the eyelid. So, little pressure, little product and then start painting a thin line. Now, you need to do this line before you do the eyelashes because if you do the eyelashes and then you draw that lid on top, then it will kind of smear all the lashes if it makes sense. So just remember to do this line before you paint your eyelashes. I'm going to go uh, to the end of this line here and then I'm going to start flicking up some eyelashes. So I'm just going to do like a... A flick upwards and then thicken the line at the bottom and have it thin at the top just like so so look I'm flicking and then I'm thickening the line here slightly and leaving it thin at the top nice thick eyelashes then I know only dream of uh, oh, I dream of them all the time <laughs> this is my problem <laughs> should we do another one maybe a tiny one yeah. why not I'm loving this Drew like a new person me? That, yeah <laughs> yeah all up for me adding stuff usually you tell me to stop <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you You've, yeah that's it it's the holiday I need to go mm -hmm. on holiday more often I know for him to appreciate my art. <laughs> no, oh, give kidding. it away. <laughs> give it away. <laughs> right, so we've got this top section done. I'm now going to map out the, uh, the under the eye, but I'm going to change it up a bit from the original design that I've done. So I'm just going to kind of do a tiny line on here. And then I'm going to... Uh, break it basically because I'm going to do a tear coming from the midsection of the eye so it's just going to be like so and then I'm going to map out the tear so it's going to be just a little blob that starts from here and goes all the way down and it looks a bit like a tear of course you know <laughs> there's no other way to describe it so I'm gonna do that and paint it just like so okay so the tear is coming directly from the eye and then I'm gonna add a couple of tiny lines just under here so it's gonna be just like at the top but that's for your baggy eye not an eyelid <laughs> So 
so i'm gonna start by doing two kind of curved lines just like so okay so one on this side and then one on this side and then I, I'm, I'm going to, if I get my words right, I'm going to join them up together with a little curved line here. So as you can see, guys, I always break my shapes into kind of sections because it's easier for me to paint. Otherwise, like if I do that, I'm going to pick up a load of black and then also just start doing the... Uh, section in the middle so I'm going to just paint a nice round shape and it's easier when you pick up a lot of color and you just maneuver it around rather than painting a proper circle it's just so much easier and then I'm going to do a little kind of blob on here because it looks quite cool and cartoony I suppose so once we've done that I'm going to just remove most of my product from the brush and kind of flick it outwards just like so just to get a little bit more detail in the eye do you know what I mean but just remove the product every now and then because you don't want it to be too thick so it gives it a nice kind of a little bit more detail you know yeah, more realistic isn't it yeah it's lovely so I'm going to do that and now I'm going to pick up again a ton of black on my uh, brush and I'm just, just going to enjoy this one. Just literally press it and then start mapping out the eyebrow and the more product you take, you know, the thicker the line will be so you can just pull some of that product. and get it thinner towards the end i wish my eyelashes and my eyebrow would look like this if you paint them on <laughs> yeah. maybe it will maybe it will i'm gonna add a couple more lines on here um some bottom lashes over here just like so might be a little lash here so for the tear I'm going to use tropical lagoon and I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my palette and I'm gonna pick it up with my detailing brush and start filling in the tear I'm going to add a little bit more here as well. Maybe I'll make it look like it's a blob on the top. There we go, that looks better. I've just added this and I want to outline it as well but I'm gonna flash cure it quickly and then add the um, outline okay so I'm just going to outline that teardrop I'm going to start outlining I'm going to outline at the top here as well. I think it gives it a bit more of a... Yeah. Helps it stand out, doesn't it? Mm. Should I add a little line in the sec? Yeah, I will. <laughs> I don't know why I was asking you. A bit of detail always works for me. Just like so. Looks good, right, Drew? It does look good. 
a little bit line here and now just to finish off should we add some stars or something at the bottom i think it will look good yeah i'm just gonna do that anyway whether you agree or not <laughs> i'm gonna just add a star here because it, it kind of goes well with um this kind of look i've seen a lot of people do it so well, why not <laughs> So I'm just going to pull some lines. I'm going to do... I'll do the tiny lines as well. Why not? Sorry. It's just, you know... And then I'll just add... A few dots. Here and there. Just to fill up this gap the emptiness and there you have it guys the final result how gorgeous is this eye i love this kind of style i think there's a lot of like mix and match manicures that they do nowadays and then they just outline so many beautiful things and it looks so cool on the nails so i thought why not do one of those videos for you guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh feel free to pause and join in i've explained it as much as i could uh during painting so yeah Thanks for watching. Uh, as usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you all real soon. <laughs> Take care, guys.